Today's video is all about chicks, man. Hello, starlets. I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. I make videos to inspire you to be the best version of yourself and live your dreams. So if you want to be an Everyday Starlet, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I wanted to do a kind of like ridiculous and silly DIY because I just thought it would be kind of fun and entertaining. And I have these bunny slippers that I absolutely love. They're streetsies. And of course, you know, people have heard of bunny slippers. Obviously the streetsies have heels, which make them super cute. I kind of thought it would be kind of funny if I made, because I've been making like decorating marabou mules and I've made some marabou covered shoes, I was like, what if I made Easter chicks out of marabou and put them on slippers? <laughs> What could possibly go wrong with that, right? I actually think they came out pretty cute. Actually, this guy came out cuter than the other one because I had to make two, obviously, one for each shoe. And this one came out super cute. The other one, I think, is a little scary looking. But yeah, I just thought this was silly. It's actually kind of an affordable DIY and you could even do this with kids if you wanted to. Maybe put it on a pair of, you know, slippers or something like that. Like, it's just kind of a cute, fun, silly DIY that's Easter themed and I thought, you know what, like, who doesn't love chicks, right? So if you want to see how I made my uh, Marabou Easter chick slippers, then just keep watching. Okay, so for this project, you need a pair of shoes. You can really go with any shoes you want. If you want to make these uh, removable, like what I'm going to do, you're going to need to make sure that it is something like sandal-like that has an open toe that you can actually wrap something around. Uh, but if you're going to glue it directly onto the shoe, or sew it, I guess, depending on the fabric of the shoe. Anyway, if you're going to attach it directly to the shoe, you can use any shoe you want. You could use a uh, flat. I wanted to use like a lower heel to kind of make it a little bit more... Uh, uh, marabou mule like I actually found these shoes on Amazon and uh, they were pretty inexpensive and they actually were pretty comfortable when I put them on I was actually really surprised they've got cushion on them um, and I just wanted like a nice neutral color so I thought white would be really good especially you know kind of Easter themed you'll also obviously need some marabou you'll need some glue if you're gluing some scissors I have two different sizes rhinestone picker is optional you want some crystals. I wanted to use Swarovski, but I really, you only need a couple of these. So if you want to go with like a cheaper brand, you don't have to go with Swarovski, which is more expensive because you only need a couple. You probably have to buy them in a package. So if you can get a smaller package, the better because you only need like four. I kind of like this pointed cotton tip. These actually work really well for these kind of projects. And then this part is actually optional. Uh, I made these little uh, fabric wraps to put around the shoes. I have an IGTV video where I show you how I made these and I'll actually link that uh, in the description box and actually I'll also link the original video where I got the idea for this but I decided since I've already made a video where I showed you how to make this I would just link it to this one and I would do this off camera I made these narrower than I made the ones in my video because uh, the marabou is not gonna go across the front it's just gonna be in the center so I made these narrower and these are basically just pieces of fabric that I cut and I actually just glued on some Velcro so that they attach onto the shoe like this. So you get this nice soft cushion under the shoe and then I'm going to attach uh, my uh, decor on top of this so you can basically uh, remove this and remove the uh, decor so the shoes are, you know, you can wear them like normal or you can attach the top. Like if you have another shoe in a different color, different style, but it has a similar size front, uh, you could put these on other shoes. So that's totally optional if you wanna do it that way. Doing it this way is super easy. I like using this really nice soft fabric, especially now like online, if you have to order it online, you usually have to order a large piece of fabric. So I have a lot left over. Whereas like, you know, back when fabric stores open up again, you can probably buy uh, small pieces of fabric for, you know, in smaller amounts for less money uh, or you can use a less expensive fabric maybe a felt or something I just really like using this nice like soft and minky fabric because it's just I don't know it feels really good on your feet okay this is my chick that I made off camera to make sure that I knew how it would work and I'm gonna try to recreate this and show you how I got this so I'll have two matching ones that I can put on the front of the shoe so uh, obviously, because I already made one, uh, this marabou is uh, already been trimmed, um, but you want to probably trim the end piece off if you got a boa like this, because it tends to be a little bit thinner at the end, and because you want both sides to be slightly consistent. They're not going to look exactly the same, obviously, but um, I would suggest 
trimming off the end a little bit so that you have uh, more of the centerpiece. It'll just make them more consistent. I would try to, as much as you can, spread the feathers out before you cut it so you, do, you get the fewer uh, little short stubby feathers at the end. I mean, but if you get them, no big deal. Okay, so what I did was I actually looped this around. So you had a little knot. You don't really see the knot. This is your face. I think I'm gonna trim this a little bit because when I snipped this off from doing the other one, it cut off in like an odd place. So I'm gonna snip this. So this is my face. Well, it's a chick's face. Uh, so this is still knotted around in here, which gives you a little bit of a, a body here. And I was actually just gonna loop it once, but I actually found that looping it a second time just gave it a little bit more fullness. You're not, you're not looping it super tight. These are looser loops. Try to get it about the same size. Now, I kind of regretted doing this with the other one, um, but if you feel like, is this gonna be like your beak? If you feel like you need to, you know, trim this little center piece here um, to shape it a little bit, you can do that. I also went in, and this was trickier than I thought it was gonna be. I went in and dabbed a little bit of glue on here just because I just wanna protect this end so it's less likely to unravel, but you don't wanna to use too much because you don't want it to look clumpy. Make sure he's fluffed out as much as possible. Now this part can get a little tricky. I mean, you can just pick this up with your fingers, but I like using the rhinestone picker, but it's totally optional. Okay, in this case, you really have to dab the glue on the back of the rhinestone, which can get messy. Just try to get as much of it on the backing and not the front as possible. You don't wanna get too much so it'll get messy, but you also want it to be enough to stick. And then you wanna go somewhat close to the center here because like this is the nose. And there you go. You got the little beak. And then you wanna find your end here. So that's like after your loops. Not maybe not immediately after your loops because you don't want it to come unraveled easily, um, but just somewhere after your loops. Just separate the feathers and trim off the end. And then you probably want to dab a little bit of glue on here just to kind of protect it, keep it from unraveling too much. That was too much glue, so that's messy, but... Okay, so I made these actually uh, earlier. I don't know if they're 100% dry. You definitely want to wait until these are dry before you do this next step, but I'm going to say they're dry enough. Uh, and we're going to put these on. I'm going to make sure that these are in a position so you're not going to accidentally glue them closed. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get plenty of glue, but this glue will drip, so that's a warning. I know that from, uh, you know, other marabou shoes I've made, is this glue can drip and it can get kind of messy, so. But you wanna use enough of it so that it will stick. Just glue this little guy in place. And you wanna wanna hold him down for a little bit, make sure the glue isn't dripping. Okay, now they're probably not gonna face the exact same angle. You know, I mean, Marabou isn't gonna look exactly the same, so this one's looking down, this one's looking up. That's life. I think it's better because this one's face is a little bit cuter than this one. No offense, I shouldn't play favorites with my chicks, but, but hey, men play favorites with their chicks all the time, so why not? Anyway, you wanna make sure that these are pretty dry, and then I think I'm gonna take these off just to make sure that they dry completely uh, in the right direction. Okay, so I'm actually going to very carefully uh, take these off the shoes. I'm gonna let them dry for a little while, and then I'm gonna try them on and show them off. And here is how they came out. I think these guys are adorable, I have to say. I say they're guys, I don't know why I think they're guys. They could be girls, because they're chicks. They could be male or female, I suppose. Who knows? They're gender neutral chicks is what they are. 
We want to be politically correct. Um, I also want to shout out uh, this outfit is actually, uh, well, outfit. <laughs> this is a nightgown. This is actually Casabella. It's from their curvy line. Uh, they didn't send this to me. They have sent me stuff. They didn't send this to me, but they actually sent me the navy one, and I loved it so much that I got it in every color. Their curvy line is specifically designed for narrow band sizes and larger cup sizes, and honestly, I have always wanted to wear, like, this stuff nightgown. It feels very Elizabeth Taylor. I have some pictures actually on Instagram where I'm wearing this and I'm trying to channel Elizabeth Taylor. But yeah, I never find them that actually fit me properly in the bust. Uh, and I really wanted to give Casabella a shout out because, uh, you know, they're an Italy-based company and obviously Italy is having I mean, everywhere is having a really tough time, but Italy got hit really hard, and I have to say, I'm such a big fan of Casabella. Uh, they're a brand that's been very good to me, but they're also just an amazing brand in general. Uh, the quality is amazing, just Italian craftsmanship. It's just beautiful, so I really wanted to shout them out uh, because, well, it's so pretty. Anyway, back to the shoes. I think these little chicks are just adorable. I kind of wish that the second one uh, wasn't so sad, but, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just, they're just cute and fun, and this was not a super expensive DIY. Uh, you could probably even do it even cheaper if you found maybe even cheaper shoes, uh, if you used, like, crystals that weren't Swarovski. I mean, you could do this even more on a budget, uh, you know, or you can go all out and glam up your shoes. You could even, like, maybe cover them with crystals if you wanted to, and it's just sort of fun and silly and I mean I feel like you know a lot of us are home or self-quarantined or you know self-isolated or social distancing so now's the perfect time to wear some uh really fun ridiculous uh footwear it's Easter we're probably not going to be all getting together and having big Easter gatherings so if your Easter party is just going to be you or just the closest people that you're isolated with then <laughs> you know what that's the time to break out the fun slippers, although you could also wear them around anybody because you know what? Be yourself. If your style is wearing uh, Marabou Easter Chicks, then I say wear Marabou Easter Chicks, whether you're alone or whether you're around people. Go for it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, I, you know, I really just wanted to make this video for like a fun DIY idea that was easy and affordable. I will link everything in the description box below, uh, but you mean you can customize it or do whatever. You don't even have to make these into chicks. I mean, you could just use the technique, um, you know, of sort of knotting them together and having a big marabou puff on the front of your shoe, uh, make it removable. Um, again, I will link everything in the description box below. If you want to recreate this DIY, if you don't want to recreate this DIY, uh, I hope that this video, well, I hope it entertained you, but I hope it also maybe inspired you to do something fun. And especially if you're in a position right now, I mean, I know there are a lot of people who are working very hard, but there are a lot of people who are out of work, who are home a lot more, and that can actually get very, uh, difficult and depressing for some people, and I think sometimes if people don't stay active, some people uh, don't stay active and don't do stuff, I think sometimes it can sort of mess with them. You know, that's just how these kind of situations affect certain people. Uh, so if you're somebody like that, I hope maybe this gave you an idea. Um, it inspired you to get up and create something, do something uh, fun, you know, whether it's just a completely ridiculous DIY or whether it's create something, um, you know, that's helpful and useful uh, or an affordable version of maybe something expensive that you uh, have been desiring, you know, I mean, just anything. I feel like being creative and creating something yourself can actually be a huge uh, mood booster. So I hope that this video uh, boosted your mood and I hope that it inspired you to do something uh, fun and creative for yourself because uh, you deserve it. You're worth it. So yeah, if you want to be an everyday starlet, be sure you hit that subscribe button. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you join me next time.